Hi friends and my dear students. In 12th second volume, unit 7, a very important topic. Now we are going to see why the classical wave theory, why the classical wave theory was failed, not accepted. That's the thing that we are going to see today. Very important concept, keenly observed. According to Maxwell theory, according to Maxwell theory, we already studied about the Maxwell theory of electromagnetism. As far as theory, light is nothing but an electromagnetic waves. We already studied about theory of Maxwell's and suggested that light is nothing but an electromagnetic waves. And it consisting of coupled of electric and magnetic oscillations that move with velocity of light rays equivalent to 3 to 10 power 8 meter per second. And this theory and this magnetic uh, electromagnetic waves exhibit wave behavior as per Maxwell theory of electromagnetic waves. Now, photoelectric effect. Here, now we are going to explain the photoelectric effect, photoelectric effect on the basis of this wave theory, but whether it is favor to the Maxwell or opposite to the Maxwell, you have to wait five minutes, then we you can understand whether Maxwell theory is satisfied with the photoelectric effect or not. That's the thing very important that we are going to deal. First point, you have to consider first point. Whenever you allow the light rays which hit the target of the metal or any surface of the metal, then continuously it emits the continuously emits the supply of energy to the liberated electrons from this metal surface. The liberated electron from the metal surface. But according to wave theory, light rays is even greater intensity the light rays which falls on the target or any metals even with the higher intensity even with the higher intensity even with the higher intensity should import greater kinetic energy should import greater kinetic energy to the liberated electrons. That's an important concept. The instant light rays having more intensity being uh, should import greater kinetic energy to the liberated electrons, but that was not happened here. That's a thing that we are going to analyze why the liberated electron not possess the maximum kinetic energy was not explained by the Maxwell theory of electromagnetism. And the maximum kinetic energy here not depends on the intensity of the instant light rays. The maximum kinetic energy of the liberated electrons not depend on the intensity of incident, incident, incident rays. Here, even though the higher intensity beam, which is not enough to explain the electron maximum kinetic energy. That's why 
the classical theory first was neglected. Why? According to wave theory, the liberated electrons should possess maximum kinetic energy, but was not happened even when higher intensity beam was hitting on the surface of the target, we are getting a meager amount of kinetic energy of this free electron. That's why it was not accepted. And another point here, the maximum kinetic energy is not dependent on the intensity of the incident rays. We already seen in the many experiments. We already seen the same concept with suitable experiments. That's the first failure of the classical wave theory of Maxwell. The second one, according to wave theory, according to the wave theory, if a sufficient intense beam of light rays here, as well the wave theory, the sufficient intensity beam of light rays will never hit the surface of the metal, then electron liberated, electrons are liberated at nu is less than nu naught. That means the instant wave frequency is called nu and threshold frequency is nu naught. Here, when the high intensity, high intensity, according to the wave theory, the sufficient beam of light which are allowed to hit the surface, then the electrons are liberated. Even at nu is less than nu naught. This is a very important concept. When nu is less than nu naught means, the instant ray frequency is less than the threshold frequency even though we are getting the electrons are exhibited in the process and liberated from this metal surface. That's a very important concept. But as far as conducted by the experiments, the photoelectric effect, photoelectric effect is against this theory. Why? Photoelectric effect, according to photoelectric effect, it, the, it does not emit the electrons. It does not emit the electrons if nu is less than nu naught. That is a controversy opinion. As per the Maxwell wave theory, when the instant frequency even the high intense beam of low frequency less than the threshold frequency, then the electrons are liberated. But as per the photoelectric effect, as per the photoelectric effect, if the incident ray frequency less than the threshold frequency, then there is no emission of electrons. This is a very important concept. There is no emission of electrons and this point does not exhibit the existence of the thermo threshold frequency. And these experiments according to photoelectric effect does not ex uh, exist existence or does not explain the existence of the threshold frequency so that we are neglected, so that we are neglected. So again the classical wave theory was not accepted. Are you clear? There is two point. As far as Maxwell theory, the instant light rays of suitable beam of sufficient energy with the frequency of nu liberated electrons when nu is less than nu naught. What is nu? Instant 
वेव फ्रीक्वेंसी इज लेस देन थ्रेसोल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी आर यू क्लियर यस बट अकॉर्डिंग टू फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक अफेक्ट वेन द इंसेंट वेव फ्रीक्वेंसी इज लेस देन द थ्रेसोल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी देर इज नो एमिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन देर इज नो एमिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस पॉइंट इम्प्लाइज द एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ द थ्रेसोल्ड फ्रीक्वेंस फ्रीक्वेंसी that's why we are not accepted the classical wave theory as per the max maxwell are you clear and third one is very important concept when the electromagnetic waves of light rays which are hitting the surface of the metal then there may be a ejection of electrons during that process but here we have to consider one thing when the electromagnetic is travel electromagnetic waves are travel in the wave form in the wide wave form there may be a large number of electrons are able to receive the energy at the at, at the same moment at the same moment even though it is capable to receive the energy from the electromagnetic waves or light light rays hence the sufficient energy of electron to reach to reach the sufficient energy of the electron to break down the work function to break down the work function it will take more time it will take more time that's a very important concept are you clear if the electromagnetic waves are travel through the media in the wave form within the wave there may be a large number of electron and each and every electron which absorbs energy from the sources and hence this uh, observation and absorbs energy is not enough to break down this uh, work function if you need to get more energy to break down this uh, work function then it will take more time it will take more time that's why we are not believing this concept we are not believing this concept of maxwell theory of electromagnetism this is controversy of a statement as per another scientist told i am not told another scientist told because the wave itself consists of large suppose for in case for example if we consider uh, this is the source or metal which will emit the electrons here the waves are bombarded or transfer like this then electrons here are available in the one wave friend then the wave which will be stationarily static at the same position no not possible it may travel through the medium in the process manner so it is the electron is waiting for some other waves when a one wave is crossed if two wave is crossed then it is waiting for third wave to gain some more energy so that the electron need to break down the work function it will take more time it will take more time that's why the theory was not accepted and other than that as per photoelectric effect as per the photoelectric effect when the light is hitting on the surface of the metal instantaneously instantaneously the emission of electron must ejected instantaneously the emission of electron ejected from the metal surface there is no lack of time that's a very important time very important concept whenever it hit the surface 
then the ejection of an electron which will be happened if uh, within the time period of 10 power minus 9 second less than 10 power minus seconds if you consider this is 1 by 10 power 9 second nearly 1 by 100 crore second 1 by 100 crore is a can you imagine such a smallest time within the time itself the electron should be ejected when the heating rays are hitting the surface of the metal that was not explained it was not happened here that's why it does not ex explain the photoelectric effect because it will it take more times but instantaneous process was, was failed so that third point was also not accepted the Maxwell theory of electromagnetism. That's why classical waves theory was totally failed due to not explaining these three following concepts. Very important. But you have to, you don't memorize the concept from the textbook. Take hints like as shown in the figure, then you have to make yourself convenient to store it in your brain. Understand the concept, automatically it will store in your brain. I hope you may be satisfied about these classes and uh, one by one. I have to explain all the questions throughout the entire syllabus. I have to explain one by one. Daily, you have to wait for my classes. If you are actually interested to watch my classes, you have to subscribe my channel and click the bell. And very important, you have to click the all bell. Then only you have to receive my classes continuously reaches to your mobile so that you are able to observe it, observe the concept easy manner and get more marks. Thank you my friends.